All right, Saturday morning, we're leaving. We're going to LAX right now. No traffic, it's only a 20 minute car ride. Got you guys know who that is right there? Oh. Anyways, great time. I'm gonna do a little recap. Um, this event was fantastic. The connections, uh, the networking, the good times. It was just one of those things that you, you know, when somebody asks you, an opportunity comes your way, and it's going to be a positive. You got to take it. You don't think, don't, don't overthink it. Just say yes. Okay. Make things happen. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Yep. Ooh, save money. You know what I mean? All right. Shout out to my Uber driver, Romel. What a great guy. Family guy. Three little kids. Like, I love, that's why I used to love doing ride share. I love meeting people and hearing their story, how they got into ride share, where they're going, whatever. Like, I used to, like, I just like it. I love ride share, man. I got to get back to it. Anyway, Romel, man, what a great guy, family dude. Uh, we're at LAX right now, just checked in. Let's go ahead and uh, hop on this flight in about an hour. Got about an hour delay, wait time, and uh, be in St. Louis soon. in phoenix what kind of money could i make out here if i worked let me know in the comments do you guys want me to go to cities come to your town make some money film some content meet me maybe we dash together drop a comment and let me know because i think this could be a fun little adventure this year coming to some cities here and there and seeing what it's like in your town oh doordash in phoenix all right so let's talk about the experience a little bit so a few things I learned on this trip, uh, California, downtown LA, not great unless you're on a bike or some kind of moped or a, uh, whatever, scooter. Um, so much traffic, it's absolutely crazy. I met a lot of DoorDash drivers, Uber Eats, Rideshare, all that at the event. About 30 drivers showed up, it was amazing. And a lot of them told me some really good things about the down, about Los Angeles and the area and how they work it. I met some top dashers, most of them were top dashers. I met some cherry pickers, you know, they both had good and bad things to say about that market. Obviously yesterday I had my experience where I made the 965. It took us a lot of longer than it should have because of the traffic. Um, plus when I accepted it, it was like I had to, it took a little, it took about 15 minutes longer than it should have. But then even like just with the mileage and everything else, like it was just, Listen, when you're working in some downtown areas in any major city, I, I think that's why a lot of people don't like doing it, especially if you're in your car, there's parking issues, blah, blah, anyways. But the Prop 22, so I had it explained to me by some veteran drivers in that area. And basically, you take the tip out, so the tip was $3 and some change, so it was like six and some change from DoorDash. And the minimum pay, the minimum, they try to get you up to like $21 or something. So that order basically, and I'll show you guys on Monday or Tuesday, it's gonna wind up paying me about $18 in total for that amount of time, so not horrible. So what I what I, what I, what I see is in Cali, when you got Prop 22, like, that's why some drivers just take whatever, because they know that if they spend more time on it, they're getting a minimum amount guaranteed. Now, I think if other states had Prop 22 or something similar, there could be some benefits for the company because one, you're gonna have more, you're gonna have a higher acceptance rate. That's why I think a lot, most of, the dashers that I met in Los Angeles, California, are top dashers. Their acceptance rate was really, really high. Some, some, some weren't, but most of them were. And they showed earnings. I saw multiple people, their ratings, their earnings, and like they were making good money. And they had some drivers, two, three, four hundred dollars in extra money that they would get the following week. Like crazy, right? So in some ways, I think it's easier to work in that market. In some ways, I think it's not, but it is what it is. That's just my experience. I thought it was pretty neat. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona right now, waiting on the um, flight that's gonna take me back to St. Louis. So I got about an hour, hour and a half to kind of chill and kill some time. So what do you guys think? Like if, if you're somebody in Cali, let me know your acceptance rate down below. Are you a top dasher? Are you a non-top dasher? There's gonna be, I think this year, there's gonna be even more talk about that. And 
how people make money, what they like. But I continue to meet people, and even in the comments, you guys could look at the comments, they're public, telling me they're in a diamond zone and they're seeing better orders and making more money because they got their acceptance rate to 50 or above 70%. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you the experience that I have and what I hear from other drivers. You make that your own and do what you like. But overall, this experience has been amazing. I want to give a couple shout outs real quick. First, Hannibal is hungry. You guys know who he is. If you don't, go find out. That's my mains right there. Han is such a great guy. Flew all the way from New York to come to this event. Him and I had an amazing time. Second, Harry Campbell, the rideshare guy, um, and his partner, whatever, to put on the Curb Core event, invited me out, invited us out. It was an amazing time. Uh, can't wait to go back to the next one. It's, it, it, got, it just has me thinking, okay, I got to get this gig conference number two set up. Looking at Nashville as a city sometime in probably July. Got to take a little time to set it up. So shout out to Harry. Shout out to Sergio, the Right Your Guy. He does the show, Show Me the Money Club with Chris on the Right Your Guy's channel. I think they do it Tuesday or Wednesday. Awesome to meet him. Shout out to Torsen, the Right Your Professor. Amazing to meet him, right? Um, and then all the other drivers that I met, uh, it was just great. We had people come from L.A. Uh, a guy came from uh, Ohio. I mean, it was just very humbling when people coming to meet you and shake your hand and ask questions and say thank you to me and Hannibal and the, the rest of us it was really 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 cool um, great event special love and recognition to Nicole uh, she was the, the, the jasher out there that took me on the, to pick up that order and we did it together it was absolutely awesome so like I said in the beginning of the clip when you have opportunities that can come your way Say yes, if you can. And I'm not talking to gig apps, I'm talking just in life in general. Like if you have opportunities to network, meet people, even if those opportunities might cost you a little bit of time or money or whatever, that's how you're going to what I consider level up. You have to meet people that are gonna allow you to have doors open for you. Make good business connections, life connections, personal connections, whatever that means. You gotta make it happen for yourself. And this trip was a big deal for me and I had an amazing time and met a lot of really awesome people. And just want you guys to know when I when I do things like this and meet people, it makes me, it inspires me, it moves me. It makes me want to do even more for myself, my family, my friends, my inner circle, you guys as well. All the love and support you guys show me. I can't figure out how to pay it back. I try to do certain things for you guys. But experiences like this just make me want to grind and hustle and work on my goals and continue to better myself even more. So just know, this year, we talk about leveling up, level up 23, hashtag level up 23. We talk about betting on yourself, being positive, adapting. This just, it's not a coincidence. These great things and I'm meeting these great people are happening because I'm thinking and feeling and moving in this way. So my question to you guys, what are you doing to adapt? What are you doing to betting yourself? What are you doing to level up? Are you gonna stay negative and do the same thing and expect a different result? Or are you gonna change it up, whatever that means for you, whatever way of life, whether it's a gig economy, or getting healthier, or losing weight, or trying to go for that promotion, or trying to get better at sports, like, it starts right here. That, and that's what this channel's about, and I show you guys that every single day, right? To all the other content creators that are making videos about this and about that and about that, my challenge to y'all is, Show real results. Show you actually doing something. Show what's really happening. Let's put the opinions to the side. Let's show our viewers and the community facts so they can make good informed decisions. And let's stop complaining and whining so much. And if the apps are that bad to all you content creators and drivers out there, turn them off. Delete them. Other people are doing that. Find something else to do and leave the money for the drivers that are out here that need to make it and then give good customer service and staying positive. All the negativity has got to stop. It doesn't serve anybody any good. You're gonna stay in the same place as you were last year because you're working the apps the same exact way and offering no solutions, just crying. I know that's harsh for some of you guys, but that is the reality. Level up in 2023. See you guys tomorrow. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.